I want to welcome everyone to the latest version of the VIA Live product training webinar series. And today we're thrilled to have Arbutus Medical on to talk about their different surgical devices. Uh, before we get involved in the actual webinar demonstration, I want to just do a quick uh, introduction to VIA Global Health because I know some on the line may not be familiar with VIA as you're new to working with us. So VIA is a medical sourcing platform where you can quote, purchase, uh, source and ship products from around the world to your local destination. And we wanna make everything fast, easy and affordable for our buyers globally. And what we're trying to do is connect you to medical innovations that exist and give you awareness to their existence, but also access to making the purchase and receiving that product in your facilities. Uh, so let me walk really quickly just through our platform so you become familiar and you then understand a bit more about our services and how you can engage with us as well. So obviously you'd come to our homepage, very simple amount of information where you can search products, learn about us, find our buyers guides, and I'll go into more detail about this um, for each section. And then obviously you can see the number of different countries and impact we've had. So we're in over 70 countries and almost 2 million patients impacted. Some of our testimonials from customers, which again, I'll get more into, and some featured products as well. So uh, before I get into the actual products, I wanna just talk through really quickly um, some of the information about VIA. So if you go to that about page uh, where you can find everything here in just this little hamburger on the side, all the navigation there can be found to easily find your way around the site. But what we wanna do is be very clear about who we are, what we stand for, and how we work. We're very much about transparency. We have nothing to hide. We wanna make this easy for our buyers, but also very honest. So we really give you background about who we are as a company, but also how we work. So how our process works, how we make everything easier for you as a customer, but also how you can engage with us. A bit more about who our customers even are. So obviously we're a platform, so we have buyers and we also have sellers. Sellers being someone like Arbutus Medical, who will be on to talk to you about their products. Um, but we want to also offer you services beyond just this online catalog and e-commerce platform. So we have everything from rewards program where you earn uh, points every time you make a purchase or engage with us, our logistics, uh, sales support, customer service, product training, which is what we're doing right here today. One of our many examples of product training, um, buyer's guides, many other ways you can engage with us. But just to show you that we're more than just an online catalog, that we really are here to support you throughout your process of sourcing and purchasing and all the way through final delivery. You can watch videos about us obviously and learn about our offices and see some of our partners um, globally. But again, this is just for you to understand who we are, but really to build trust in what we do. Another way for us to build trust with you is to give you an FAQ section. So answering questions that customers very frequently ask us. So we get asked the same questions over and over instead of having to give you that answer each time you ask, we wanna be proactive and give you the answers to those things in advance of that. So everything about our website, ordering, shipping, payments, returns, anything you might have asked over the last few years, we've now put that answer to that question on our website so that we can again, build that trust, build that relationship and really let you know how we work because we really wanna be transparent about everything. Uh, another thing I'd mentioned on here as well was those testimonials, what our customers are saying about us. So you can come on this page and learn about how um, our customers have reacted to us in a, in a way of honesty and strong relationships, about how we've helped build their business and it kind of helped their business grow over the years, uh, how we have had reliable deliveries with them. So just talking about the successful shipments we've had of getting products to all parts of the world. And then positive impact, which is really about what drives our whole business is positive impact on patients globally. Um, and creating universal access to the tools that enable quality healthcare. So if you don't have all these things before it where you're not actually building business growth and strong relationships and reliable deliveries, you can't have positive impact, but positive impact is really the reason that we come to the office every day to have that impact on the world. Uh, product training, this is a lot about helping to inform your decisions and to give you as much information as possible so that when you're looking for products for a tender or to find something new that you didn't know existed, we wanna give you all the information you could possibly have from it. So as we'll have with this training that we're doing today, we'll take that video and edit that and put that on not only the product page 
for all the Arbutus products, but also on this product training video section. So you can see all the previous videos we've done for all the different products we have. This is a great way to come and learn about products where you can see what the demonstration of the device looks like, but also hear other attendees' questions because you will likely, likely will have very similar questions to what they had. So it'll help answer a lot of the unknown information that you might have um, been looking for when you looked at the product page. Uh, another thing I mentioned a few minutes ago was that rewards program. So this is just a way for us to say thank you to our customers. Uh, we have a great deal of loyalty to our customers and we're hoping that you have the same with us. And one of those ways we want you to keep coming back and working with us is obviously by giving you the best experience possible so that you want to come back. But another way we'd like to do that is to give you rewards. So each time you make a purchase or engage with us in certain ways, you earn points that you can then redeem for future purchases. So after a certain number of points, you can then redeem that and have a, a large discount or even potentially have a free order um, for a future order. So that is another way for us to just, again, build that relationship, build that trust and build that long-term relationship with you. What I also mentioned too is about informing your decisions. So if you come into this navigation, you can go to buyer's guides, and then you can see all the different ways of buyer's guides that we've developed. And that is again, all about guiding your purchase decision. So we wanna make sure that you have all the information you could possibly need, and even some information you may not have even thought of. So this, for example, is one about um, COVID-19 response for triage and monitoring devices. So this may actually help inform what types of specifications you should even look for. So if you're looking for pulse oximeters, what is a pulse, pulse oximeter? What does it do? What are some of the key specifications? So we're really helping to inform how you even search and make sure you're as, um, as informed and knowledgeable about that sourcing process. And of course, we then have products that you can source from us for that, but we really wanna make sure that you're informed in, in everything you're doing there. So, uh, I'll bring it back before I go quickly into the products, just to bring you back to the homepage. Obviously, one of the main reasons people come to vehiclelowhealth.com is to find products. So you can go and look at our different categories or click the shop all products button, which takes us to this page, which is basically every product we have. And we have quite a few products on our platform. But then the nice thing is you can then filter down. So if you want to just look at the COVID-19 essentials, you tick that box and it only will show you the COVID-19 essentials products. Um, if you wanna do the same with brands, if you wanted to look specifically for, again, Arbutus Medical, you could tick that box and that would bring up just the products for that. Uh, my Wi-Fi is a bit slow right now, so <laughs> it might be taking some time to bring that up. Uh, but again, and I'll go back to product tags. So if you wanted to look up something like just CPAP, if you tick that, it would bring up just the products that have that tag of CPAP. So we're really just trying to make this purchase or the sourcing of and searching of products as easy as possible for you. Um, so we're making that, again, fast, easy, and affordable. That's one of the easiest ways we can make you um, search better. Another way, if you did wanna look up products is the search bar, it's our most popular feature on the site. So if you wanted to go with Arbutus, you would then see all the different products listed there. So you could just click on the magnifying glass and it would bring you to a page with all four, or you could click any one of those and it would bring you to that product page. So obviously if you did the search, it would bring you to all four of these products. You could see all the, um, if you had searched drill, it would have brought up only the products with drill. Obviously we did for the, the brand itself this time. Uh, so jumping really quickly, I'll, I'll just show you one of the pages, but our product page is all about, again, information, transparency, and trust. So we wanna give you all the information that you've been requesting from us over the years. So we learn from our customers and then we take those learnings and put them into our platform. So we know you need to know obviously what the device is. You want to have a short description and these key bullets are the questions you ask is what's my minimum order? Who sells it? Where are they located? What's the warranty? What is the regulatory approval? That's like the four or five most important things that we always get asked. We have other things like, um, the brochure is on this page as well, but for kind of quick information, that's the most important. Obviously we have different images of the device to show you what it looks like either in parts or put together or even sometimes in environment. We have longer description, key features to help you understand the product, but to also help you sell it onward. 
specifications are all about transparency. So you understand exactly what the specifications of this product are. Uh, standard accessories, optional accessories. Here is again where I mentioned the, the user manuals, the brochures, the spec sheets, the warranty details, all the regulatory certificates. We know how important this is to you. So we created a whole section just for these product documents and regulatory certificates. Again, the videos, as we finish this edit of the video today, we will then put that video on here as well. So you'd have a fourth video, just helps you to understand the product more where you can keep coming back and learning as you want, because you don't have to always wait for live training. You can continue to keep training yourselves that way. FAQs, just normal questions that come up re um, frequently about that product. Studies and trials, obviously important. And then package contents, warranty details, and testimonials. So what you can see here is how many pieces of information we're giving you, because we want you to have everything you need without coming to us and waiting for answers. You should have everything you need there. If you want pricing and you don't have a login as a verified buyer, you would click that button of request pricing, fill in your information, and someone from our team would follow up with you on uh, the pricing and, and product information as needed. So with that, I know that was a bit of a long-winded explanation of VIA, but I wanted to make sure everybody understood who we are and what we do. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Sophia Ebelt, who's the product specialist at Arbutus Medical to take you through everything here. You can ask questions at any time during her presentation, but I will ask you just to type those into the question section on the webinar. You can see on the webinar software, which you can see. We won't ask those until the demonstration is over, but I really encourage people to ask as many questions as possible because it does help us to answer what you need. So Sophia, I'd love if you could switch on your video and, and your screen share as needed, and I'll let you take it away. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, Brian, thank you for the introduction as well. Uh, as you mentioned, my name is Sophia Ebelt, and I'm here from Arbutus Medical. So today I'll provide you with a brief introduction to Arbutus Medical, introduce and demo our products, and then offer some key selling points and advice when speaking about our products. As Brian mentioned, we will have time at the end as well for a Q&A session for any questions that may come up. I'd like to start today with a statistic, and it is that 5 billion people across the world lack access to safe surgery. A key driver of that is access to safe surgical equipment, and this metric is a key motivation behind every innovation and product at Arbutus Medical. We pride ourselves on developing equipment that is suitable for every OR, um, from those similar to the image on the left in low resource settings uh, to those more similar to the image on the right, such as in higher income countries. Arbutus Medical is a Canadian company. We're located in Vancouver, British Columbia, on the west coast of Canada, and we design and manufacture orthopedic power tools with the belief in using innovation to help hospitals manage the rising cost of care, while also maintaining a focus on designing equipment that is suitable for use in low resource settings as well. This is our portfolio of orthopedic power tools, all of which are ISO certified, made in Canada, and registered with the US FDA and Health Canada approved. We offer a sawing system, as well as two drilling systems. All our products feature a linen cover system, as well as a hardware power tool. And as you'll see shortly, the uh, proprietary linen system does ensure the complete sterility of the device. So how does it work? Simply put, you've got a hardware power tool, which we've specifically selected and modified for surgical use, as well as a linen system, and then your metal components. All that's required is to load the power tool, and this image, as you see, is a drill into the cover, seal it, and then you perform the procedure. Once the pr procedure has been completed, the cover and chuck are then simply removed and steam sterilized for up to 75 uses, and the drill can be used uh, immediately in a back to back surgery simply by replacing the linen and chuck with sterile ones. As I mentioned, what is unique about our system is that the same power tool can quickly be turned around and used in the next surgery, 
simply by replacing the cover and metal attachments. Key features of this drill cover technology that is common across our entire portfolio of products is first, the linen quality. We use the highest grade of medical linen, offering complete sterility and providing a, a liquid and pathogen proof barrier. Second, is that our seams are also completely sealed. So even at the bends, there'll be no liquid penetration, similar to what you find on a rain jacket, in fact. And finally, you've got the nose interface where the power tool meets the sterile field. Here our chuck adapters for the drills uh, and our thumb screws for the saws are uniquely designed to ensure a completely sterile barrier. Uh, I'll now pause the presentation and uh, switch back to a full screen uh, video to demo the, the products for you here. Okay, um, if I could just get a confirmation that uh, that you can see me. Yep, and that everything looks good. Okay. <laughs> Perfect, that's great, thank you. Um, all our kits are, all our products are sold as a kit. Um, so you've got the drill, the battery and charger, and then you have the linen and chuck or metal attachments. Our products are designed only to be used with specific power tools and cannot be used with any power tool. So here, what, was I, what I was showing you was our drill cover hex. This is our base model drill, and it works with a DeWalt DCF 610 drill. When preparing the power tool for use in surgery, you typically have two people, a sterile nurse and an unsterile nurse. The unsterile nurse will handle the drill components. These will never come in direct contact with the patient as they'll be enclosed in the linen. <clears throat> the sterile nurse will handle the sterile components, the linen and chuck or metal attachments. Unfortunately, this is uh, typically best demonstrated with uh, two people, but given our current circumstances, uh, I'll be playing both roles today. The first step for the unsterile nurse is to prepare the drill. This is a simple task, ensuring that the battery is fully charged and just clips into the drill. The uh, sterile nurse then holds the linen bag open, ready for the drill to be fed in. She protects her fingers from touching the drill, as well as protecting the exterior of the drill, of the linen, excuse me. The drill is then dropped into the bag, ensuring the proper orientation with the nose piece. You fold down the top three times, and the clip is clasped shut. The sterile nurse then feeds the nose of the drill into the nose piece, and the chalk adapter is clicked in. Then you twist the chalk adapter into the nose piece, ensuring that this orange band that you see com disappears completely. This orange band is found on all our products. And once it disappears, you know that you have a sterile interface and that the non-sterile drill is safely sealed away. Your drill is then ready for use in surgery. Once the surgery has been completed, the drill can be unloaded simply by reversing those same steps. You loosen the chuck adapter from the nose piece, you unclasp the bag and open it to reveal the drill. and you release the chuck adapter. The linen and chuck can then be sent for cleaning and sterilization. And the drill, we do recommend that the battery is put to charge and a fresh battery is used for every surgery. Simply replace the battery and the drill can go on to the next surgery. 
This product that I just showed you here is our drill cover hex. It is our base model drill, and it is designed for simple non-cannulated drilling, such as the driving of K-wires, Steinman pins, or external fixator pins. I'll now move on to the drill cover pro. As I mentioned, all our products use the drill cover technology with this linen system. So the unloading and loading in each case will be very similar. And I won't demo it for each product individually. The drill cover pro is our more advanced drilling solution, offering cannulation, as you see with this offset adapter, and reaming, as well as a variety of chuck attachment options. Uh, I've got a couple here as well. Seeing the chuck attachment options of all sizes uh, to fit with various shank types. The chuck attachments can also be purchased individually um, to build capacity as needed. The Drill Cover Pro is our most versatile tool with the power and torque needed for something like acetabular reaming, but also with the precision needed for small bone surgery. AO, Zimmer, and Hudson type quick connect shanks can also be connected directly to the various chuck adapters. The varying chuck adapter sizes also allow for the gripping of various diameters. And then we also offer a keyless chuck option for a faster setup. We also see here that the Drill Cover Pro comes with a cover guard, this white plastic guard, which protects the linen from puncture from other sharp objects that you may find in the OR, such as a scalpel on the equipment tray. As you see here, this is the power tool that's inside the linen. It is a custom design on the power tool, this time with a Makita drill. So once again, it can only be sold as a complete kit with the power tool, linen, and chuck attachments. However, the chuck attachments and linens can also be purchased individually to build that additional capacity. <coughs> finally, we have the, excuse me, finally we have the saw cover system. This uses a Bosch saw with a custom fitted pistol grip and a trigger mechanism with an auto off function for safety. It offers a variable speed of five to 20,000 oscillations per minute. Um, and the system can only be used with Arbutus medical blades, one of which you see here. These are custom blades uh, made of the highest quality surgical steel from US and German suppliers. We do offer various geometries and two sizes depending on the application, uh, but they can be used for everything from total knee arthroplasty to hip arthroplasty, osteotomies, amputations, uh, et cetera. As you can see, it also comes with the cover guard for that added protection of the linen during surgery. I'll now uh, revert back to the presentation for uh, a couple final points. The first is a summary of our value proposition. We offer a completely sterile and fully regulated power tool solution with ISO certification, FDA regulation, and Health Canada approval. We do have additional regulatory approvals for specific territories, and these can be confirmed one-on-one -on -one with uh, your VIA rep. Second is the affordability of our products, specifically requiring a lower capital or investment budget allowing for orthopedic capacity to be introduced, perhaps at district or rural hospitals to serve local trauma patients, or to build additional surgical capacity, perhaps at regional centers that are already performing orthopedics and where equipment is a key constraint. Third, using the linen technology, our products allow for back-to-back -back surgeries. So it's easy to build this capacity with only one power tool simply by adding additional linens and chuck attachments, thereby increasing the uptime or the usage time of this investment. Finally, the power tools themselves are not autoclaved, meaning they tend to have an extended life. And being hardware tools, the batteries and replacement parts are also more affordable. A couple of key selling tips when speaking about our products. The first is to bundle them with other orthopedic and trauma products, such as pins, plates, implants, etc. 
power tools are rarely used alone, so it is helpful to provide a greater value solution to the user. Second, for high volume hospitals, it's helpful to compare to purchasing multiple alternative power tool sets. So in a case where one drill cover pro is needed, alternatives could require multiple complete power tool sets at a magnitude of the cost. Third, for resource constrained hospitals or those using hardwood power tools or unsterile solutions, it's helpful to focus on the affordability of a sterile solution. Many times they've attempted methods themselves to improve the sterility of the equipment, and our product in this case is a clear solution for them. Fourth, for hospitals introducing trauma orthopedic capacity, as you've seen today, it's a simple and easy to use device, and it can be quickly and easily introduced into any hospital. Finally, our global reach. So far, we're used in 36 countries worldwide, with our strongest footprint being in Africa and over 20 countries. We are in everything from regional to district hospitals in low and middle income countries, uh, in emergency departments, in US trauma centers. Uh, we also work with global NGO groups, specifically for surgical training trips, as well as with very various military groups. And finally, a few words from some of our users. From Dr. Frenzen in Uganda, you read here that he had no orthopedic capacity and used a dual cover system to introduce this. In Malawi, Kamuzu Central Hospital grew their orthopedic capacity using the dual cover system. At Korsu Rehabilitation Hospital, they improved their sterility of the procedures by introducing the dual cover technology. And Dr. Lido in Haiti quickly switched to the drill cover hex mid-surgery when the existing equipment failed. As you can see from these and many stories from our users, the drill cover equipment is an affordable, robust, and sterile surgical system to introduce and build orthopedic capacity in hospitals worldwide. Uh, and on that note, I'd like to hand it back to Bia uh, for any, uh, any questions that may have come up. Excellent. Thank you so much, Sophia. That was very thorough. I think a lot of our questions probably were already answered by you in the in the presentation, but there's definitely a few that I think might have snuck by um, or that were at least uh, an add-on to some of the information you provided. So the first one that came up with a few folks is just about, um, you did mention orthopedic surgical procedures. Does this, do any of the devices work beyond orthopedics? So the products are designed for orthopedic or trauma use. Um, so we commonly get asked the question for neurosurgical use. Uh, our products are not designed for that purpose. Uh, neurosurgical drills are specifically designed and tested for that, and uh, ours are not. So they are limited to orthopedic and trauma use only. Okay, perfect. Uh, there was a couple of questions just about the actual power tools themselves. I know in in one instance, it was the DeWalt, another one was a Makita, and then um, a Bosch. Is, people are just asking, are they interchangeable with each, or is each drill or each power tool specific to that exact kit? Uh, each power tool is specific to, uh, to that kit. So uh, for the drill cover hex, for the base model, you see the DeWalt, and then in comparison, our more advanced drill, you've got Makita, uh, key differences are first in the power tool and their their technical specifications themselves. This is a, uh, a more powerful power tool. Um, you can see from the, the detailed tech specs that we have uh, on our VIA pages um, that the torque as well exceeds that of, uh, of other surgical drills. So it is really best suited for reaming um, and cannulated drilling. This is a simpler solution. Um, it is also more affordable for that reason, um, and uh, and the products in that sense are specifically designed uh, to be used with uh, with the one power tool that we that we've uh, designed it for. Okay, perfect. And then there was kind of a follow up on that where uh, I think most understand that each drill is for a specific purpose, but then they were just wondering how it compares to what they would typically find as a more traditional device found. So whether it's a traditional 
uh, surgical saw or drill, how would these compare uh, when it comes to either power, torque, just generally understand um, kind of the use and, and how it would stack up? Uh, so this was a key consideration of ours in developing the products and uh, they do match. We have matched the ergonomics, so the general feel of, uh, of the tool in comparison to your more traditional uh, surgical power tools. Um, on the saw, that's why we added the pistol grip for that added comfort so that it does feel like your traditional pistol grip saw. Um, as well in terms of torque and power, we at least match, so for the drill cover hex, we do match the, uh, the power and torque um, of your traditional drill, um, but the Drill Cover Pro actually does exceed that. Again, as I mentioned, we have uh, the detailed specs on the, the website, as well as, uh, I believe, a table comparing uh, these, uh, these metrics to uh, some common alternatives on the market. Perfect. Uh, and then everybody, I, I will recommend that everyone just check out the product page for each of the devices because the specs, as uh, Sophia mentions, are there. Um, so if you do have any questions or you can even go into more depth with the user manuals or brochures as well. Um, a question just about the, and I guess it would depend on each device, but just the battery life, how many procedures can be typically done on each battery cycle? So we do recommend that the batteries are fully charged for each procedure, but we have tested the battery life and have found that for the intermittent use that, uh, that is often required in surgery, multiple back-to-back -back surgeries can be performed. Um, again, our tools do come with uh, spare batteries included in the kits so that you do have an option to, uh, to replace it in between surgeries. They are also quick to charge, um, so that uh, you'll have a fresh one ready for each surgery. Okay, perfect. And then uh, there was a, a couple of people had noted about um, when you basically can do back-to-back -back surgeries, there's a lot of benefits to that. Uh, and there are some questions about autoclaving and for some just knowing they may not have, you know, too many of the covers on at a certain time, can it only be autoclaved or can it also be um, sterilized in a solution of some sort? Uh, so we do we do recommend autoclaving or steam sterilization. Um, it is what we have tested the products for. Um, so we haven't validated something like ETO uh, sterilization as alternative, although I know it is uh, commonly used as well. Um, and that's that's particularly why we do recommend multiple linens and chuck attachments um, so that if the autoclave runs only once a day, you can still be performing multiple back-to-back -back surgeries and at the end of the day, stick everything in to, uh, to be cleaned and sterilized and ready for the next day. Okay, perfect. And then just to confirm, the only things you would need to sterilize would be the actual linen and the chuck attachment. There'd be no need to actually sterilize any of the other parts that were, are within the cover, obviously. Exactly. So uh, we look at the drill cover hex first as a uh, simpler product. It's the linen that comes in contact with the patient as well as the chuck. Um, and anything, you know, any drill bits or anything that's used uh, outside of our kit as well, of course, that needs to be sterilized as it's uh, interacting with the patient. Um, the drill itself, no need to sterilize. Um, it can be wiped down with an antiseptic solution, but again, it is a sterile, uh, it has a sterile barrier. So uh, even that isn't, uh, isn't necessary. For the Drill Cover Pro or for the saw, the, uh, the cover guard as well. Again, it is on the external, it, it does enter the sterile field, so it would need to be sterilized as well. Perfect. And then I know you had mentioned in the beginning that it was 75 uses per linen. Is that the same across all of the covers? Yes. Yes, it is. It is a recommended 75 uses. Um, and that's, uh, that's also what the regulatory bodies have, uh, have approved us for. Perfect. Uh, so I'll, I'll just encourage everyone to ask any last questions. We're kind of down to the last few. So if you have any other questions, you you do want to get in or things you've been wondering about, uh, definitely recommend just typing those in now. I think the the one that's kind of come up probably the most of any is just around um, 
training uh, just because it is a bit of a, a different way of, of performing these surgeries, obviously a very innovative approach and a, I think a fairly simple understanding of it. But I think people are just wondering where you mentioned there was the sterile nurse and the non-sterile nurse. Is there a very clear training literature included or something that really helps them understand what's the best process to avoid contamination? Yep, so uh, every every kit includes a, a essentially a detailed IFU um, and that will go through exactly how it can be safely loaded, unloaded, cleaned, sterilized. Uh, it is very detailed. We also offer uh, training videos uh, that kind of very similar demonstrate it as I did today. Um, and of course, our team is uh, is always here. We are, especially in circumstances like this, offering uh, training and uh, and video demonstrations uh, included in every purchase uh, to ensure that uh, the users are using it uh, correctly and safely. Uh, as I mentioned, yes, it is a simple solution. There aren't too many uh, bells and whistles to it, but uh, but it is important, uh, as as uh, some of you picked up on. To ensure that it is loaded uh, to be used correctly. Perfect and we're getting a lot of questions obviously about pricing which we won't cover here but I think it, if you can just provide a general understanding for our attendees about the the cost benefit for these devices versus your more traditional expensive devices. Yeah um, so we are we are very proud that we have been able to uh, offer these products at uh, a fraction of the cost. Um, you know, your traditional uh, surgical power tools range uh, anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand dollars for a complete kit. We have uh, reduced that down to uh, typically under five thousand. Um, you know, our base model drill is uh, is even more affordable than that. Um, and again, you have the added benefit of uh, simply purchasing the additional metal components or linens really build up that capacity without needing to invest in a completely uh, new uh, power tool or a new complete set. Excellent. It looks like that's all the questions we have for now. I, I think I've, hopefully I've distilled all the ones that, that came in into the most salient. So if I missed any, I apologize. And you can all feel free to reach out to us directly with any follow-up questions. But Sophia, is there anything that maybe we didn't um, ask on here that maybe popped in your head that you wanted to cover before we jump off? Um, yeah, uh, I think most of the questions were, were covered, uh, but I think one common one that we do get asked is, uh, is in fact, if it's safe to use a hardware drill uh, in surgery. Um, and, uh, and yes, <laughs> I'm happy to say that we have, we have tested this and we've proven this um, and uh, Ultimately, we've gone with uh, solutions that uh, that do match, as I mentioned, the, the speed and torque of your traditional surgical drills. Um, but then it's also important that the drill speeds um, aren't too fast and the drills aren't too powerful um, to avoid bone necrosis. Um, so that sort of testing has also been done. It's also important and another another aspect that we tested for is that it doesn't interfere with other equipment in the OR. Um, and so in this case, that is uh, part of the reason why we do recommend uh, these uh, power tools and why our products are designed only to be used with these uh, specific power tools is to ensure that, uh, that it is safe for surgery. Um, uh, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much all that comes to mind for me. Uh, okay. Unless there are other questions that have popped up. Uh, I don't see. Let me just check really quickly. Uh, there's nothing else that's come in. Let me just grab the presentation back from you. And what I'll do is just, again, remind everybody that everything that Sophia talked through earlier or mentioned about specifications or anything you can find on the product page can obviously be found on any of these pages here. So I already went through the one here for the HEX system, but on the VS site, we actually have a number of different uh, packages of the Arbutus products. So we have uh, the drill cover hex system starter kit, but then we also have the inline for the pro kit, as well as the cannulated for the pro kit. And then we do have obviously the saw cover system there as well. So in exactly the same way of all the other pages that were mentioned, you can find all the details, specifications, key features, accessories, um, product documents or regulatory certificates, 
FAQs, package contents, which obviously people always want to know what comes with this. So all these things are included on the product page. If you do have questions, of course, you can reach out to sales at viaglobalhealth.com. But again, I always recommend the best way to get in touch with us is just that request pricing. Everything gets dropped into our system and then it's assigned to your sales representative who will reach out as soon as possible. So those would be the best ways to, to reach out about all the questions that were related to pricing. But even if you have questions about product details that for some reason you can't find on the product page, we can definitely answer those with a, a online person uh, to help you through the process. So um, with that, Sophia, I really appreciate the demonstrations and the thorough information and presentation. Uh, and we hope to increase a little bit more access and awareness of the Arbutus products. Thank you. And for everyone on the line, I appreciate your time and your energy and your questions, of course. So please do reach out to us if you have any questions about purchasing or if you'd like to learn more. Thank you everyone for attending and we look forward to you on the next VIA Live product training. Thank you so much.